All right, so I'm just starting day two of the game, and the wind, I just rolled a five to have it go 45 degrees counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, so now it's blowing west, which can only benefit the cursed a bit. So they're going right now, I believe this is round seven, uh, turn seven, Guichuan just docked home La Monarca, and that's gonna unload a bunch of the Guichuan's gold. I still have to do that, and then the Monarca is a nice capture for them, especially because they've still got they're eyeing some gold on the five beach island there, but the real action for the curse this turn is with the delusion. So I'm gonna try my best to get in there. I think I'm gonna use a straw actually. So basically this situation, we've got a lot going on. So the Royal James was just had our can captain canceled by Christian Fior on the delusion. The frontier has gold that the curse want, but she also has Neptune's figurehead. Um, so the cursed are trying to scuttle her. They already un unsuccessfully tried to scuttle her with a four this turn. So they can automatically trigger the Neptune's figurehead to dock her fully at the home island and get the gold. So that way the delusion doesn't have to tow her back. Because right now the cursed priority is actually to capture the Flying Dutchman. And basically do the same thing with Eternal. So right now Christian Fjord wants to cancel the Flying Dutchman's oarsman, so that she can be towed without having to capture or eliminate the crew from the FD, the Flying Dutchman. So, and then right after that, the next turn, the Curse would try to scuttle her, and then with Eternal, she would go right back to the Cursed Home Island. So the Curse are trying to use Neptune's figurehead and Eternal to try to get captures to their home island quickly, so the, Dutch, so the Delusion doesn't have to tow them through a whirlpool to get back to the higher ocean. Um, and the Delusion is missing a few masts, uh, nothing too major. And then complicating matters is that the crew recycling fleet with the Royal James and the FD, they've captured the Sea Rat. So the Illusion is about to try to recapture the Sea Rat. And then there are fearsome creatures there, but that's not too big a deal probably, especially because the Delusion should be able to cancel the Kraken keyword to uh, escape, uh, which might have to happen next turn. We'll see. So a lot going on here. I'm going to see what happens. So basically right now, the curse priority is to eliminate the Royal James as a threat and then simultaneously try to capture the Sea Rat and hopefully the Flying Dutchman as well. So Davy Jones already rolled a five, so that means any fleet, any ship in the curse fleet can be given two actions and the Guichuan really doesn't need it, neither does La Monarca. So the delusion, Davy Jones is giving himself the, uh, the extra action. So I'm gonna use my handy little L straw here and see what they can do. The delusion is not ghostly because she's trying to capture uh, at least one ship and probably two. So she needs to make contact. So that's one move segment. Okay. So now she's going to touch the bow of the sea rat. So the curse just recaptured the sea rat, one of their original ships. And now the delusion is going to shoot at the Royal James. So I'm going to see what we've got here. So that one's out, and it looks like the rest are in. Let me just make sure. Yep. Yeah, I see I see the rest in range. So I'm just gonna go about a stern. Hopefully the Royal James will be doomed here. I'm not really picking favorites, but the crew recyclers are kind of doomed anyway. Their fleet is almost gone, basically. <laughs> they basically just have the Royal James and the Kraken left. The FD will need to repair for a while. She gets back into action. Alright, so so uh so 4L. So let me get my box. I got my box down here. So I'm just going to start rolling. So that's one hit on a six. And then we've got three three L's. So that's two hits already. Got another six. So delusion with a good, good attack there. And now I just got to think about what I want to do. Oh no, I forgot about something. Relics. All right, so none of that happened. All right, let me go grab that. So that's going to be interesting. And I already started rolling, so I'm not gonna undo it or anything. So basically, Royal James had relics, so as soon as the mass would be eliminated, you can give relics to the attacking ship. And that ends, I think that ends the ship's turn or something, which seems really overpowered. So I'm gonna go check to make sure I got the text right. So I did just see the ability text for relics from Barbary Coast, and it does say it ends the attacking ship's turn which is huge, because now um, can't get the, the AA and they won't be able to cancel the oarsman on the Flying Dutchman to capture her yet. Um, 
and it might leave the delusion open to an attack by the Royal James, who has some good weaponry on board. So, kind of ruins the curse turn, but I'm going to let them um, still use the AA from Davy Jones, because they haven't used that yet. So I'm going to use that up here on the Guichuan. So their turn's still not over. So we got some flexibility here. So now they actually are really glad they rolled a 5 with Davy Jones rather than a 1 through 4. Um, so here's the the gold the Guichuan unloaded. A bunch of it. Some of it from that gold island. And then the rum, which was originally on the Monarca, which they've captured, of course. So the westerly wind, the, uh, the curse one heads slightly northwest. Okay, so the goal here is to raid the Golden Crane's home island, which is wide open. They had hardly any ships left. The Maui's not a threat. They've got Micron, but he's just hiding in the fog. So basically the Guichuan wants to round Earth and then use um, Grim the Savage from Frozen North to take as many coins as the Guichuan can handle. So let's see if I can do this move action here. So that's like a northwesterly heading. Um, so she gets the plus S benefit of the wind. And then, so that's her second main S. And then the wind benefit, or the plus S from the wind, gets her right to the edge there. So hopefully she won't fall off. I won't bump the table. But there's the Guichuan on the edge of round earth. And then it looks like next turn, she's going to be able to raid the home island. So, the Golden Crane's woes continue as the Cursed continue to dog them. So, this is a solid example of, uh, I guess you could say relics being OP, overpowered, but it kind of prevented something that's simultaneously OP, like Davy Jones from Ocean's Edge combined with Christian Fior. I mean, if not for relics, the Delusion would have a crazy turn, the Royal James would be dismasted, and the Flying Dutchman would have been captured by the Cursed, because right now the Delusion would use her second action, instead of on the Guichuan, uh, she would use it on herself to, uh, to cancel FD's oarsman and capture her. So, I guess in a way, Relics is, can be kind of OP, it's just kind of frustrating to remember. Now it's on the Delusion, which makes her even more defensive. Del Delusion now has uh, Eternal, a Canceller, an oarsman, and Relics. So, she was already a beast in this game, and she's really proving her worth, which is cool to see. A lot of times the Ten Masters struggle, the Delusion especially, is not, not really a great Ten Master, but this is the kind of game where she can shine, so it's nice to see. Nice to see a lot of Ten Masters on the ocean too, you can see both of the Cursed Ones in the shot here, plenty of nice aesthetic stuff with the Kraken and the Shipwrecks and all that. So that's the Cursed uh, turn here in, I believe, round 7, beginning of day 2.